We won again, but let's talk about it because I have some concerns. Concern number one, I'm going to get straight into it. Donovan Mitchell. I'm going to get a lot of hate for this. I think he's taking a step down. The stats don't say it, but I look at him. He does not have the same flow. I'm not comparing him to Bubble Mitchell. He, I, I want, I'm, I, I want to say he'll never, ever achieve that again, but I don't know. He's so on and off this season. It's incredible. He'll score 35 in one night and then the next night shoot three for 15. He's He confuses me. I mean, he never shoots three for 15. That's an exaggeration, but the numbers don't say that he's bad, but I, like I said, I watch it. It's just, his flow is off. And I'm not watching just the Jazz, but I'm watching like 90% of my attention towards the Jazz. But when I look over, Donovan's missing it. Like, well, I think... The ratio, I'd say he's making one out of four shots every time I watch him. Maybe that's a little too low, but it just he just looks off. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just not paying attention as much as I think I am, but he just does not look like Donovan. And part of that could be because of the pressure of what he did in the bubble. But I feel like I don't, I don't think pressure gets to him considering what he did in the bubble. He, he did that constantly. So I don't think it's the pressure. I don't know what it is, but... He just does not look like Donovan. He definitely, it looks like he's taking a step down from last year. Again, not talked about the bubble to, uh, when we were in regular season. Um, next point. Uh, this isn't a concern, but I, it's kind of a concern. I don't think we're a playoff team without Rudy Gobert. And I know that's kind of obvious, but like, I feel like we underappreciate that man so much. Because that dude was clamping the fuck. That dude was clamping on, um, who would play tonight? He clamped someone so hard and Twitter was going nuts about it. Not nuts, but Reddit and Twitter were fucking going off about it. He was, uh, he was clamping Zubach. And I don't know why. I don't know why we went off about that, but he just, he clamped him. I mean, there were a couple alley-oops that happens. He can't defend every pass, but... He, he put the clamps on, and I know Zubox isn't that good of a... I mean, he's good, but he's not like Nikola Jokic, Joel Allen Beat type center, but... I saw a lot of... Uh, no, also, I should point out, I saw a lot of hate on Twitter and Reddit. I didn't see... I saw a lot of hate saying, oh, he got ooped on by Zubach and Lou Will and all this stuff. Like, I love that people pay attention to the jazz and only notice the bad i love that because that just that just makes me feel better because i i don't know it just i love when people focus on the bad of the jazz it is what it is uh can we just talk about the first three quarters how how we like just got dismantled like the clip we didn't get dismantled we just didn't shoot the ball well and I love, I love that about this team, is that we don't shoot the ball well. I mean, the Clippers were missing their two superstars, obviously, but we didn't shoot the ball well, yet we also, yet our defense comes into play. And I know I said we don't have a, we don't look like a top five defense. I'd say top 10, maybe like six or seven. The numbers say otherwise, and tonight proves my statement to be a little false because our defense definitely kept us in this game, believe it or not. The only reason the Clippers were in it were just three balls from the role players. When the role players stepped on the court like man, yeah, they they hit shots. And Lou Will, he's not a role player, but just saying Lou Will hit shots. And he was a big part of what they were doing. He got like four or five steals. Our turnovers, our turnovers are really killing us. Um, but yeah, the only reason they stuck in the game was because of their three-pointers. And everyone gets open threes, then they're going to knock them down. Except us, we didn't knock them down. We didn't knock down open threes uh, in the first three. And then Jordan Clarkson decided, you know what? I'm going to start playing. And Jordan Clarkson just lit the f lit the Clippers up, and we won by 20 because of it. Um, so Ro I want to talk about Royce for a minute. Royce, I want him to be more aggressive, you know? He's our 3 and D guy. I don't – I'm good on – his defense is fine. His offense, I see – 
what they're running. So Mitchell will bring the ball up. Royce will be on the left or right wing. Mitchell will give him the ball, but then Royce will pass it to the corner and then not get the ball again in that position. When I, I want to see Royce go inside. I want to see him be physical. I want to see him shoot the ball more. And I know he's not a, I know he, I know he's a spot up shooter mostly, but I want to see him shoot off the dribble more. I want him to practice that. I want Royce to be that guy that can shoot off the dribble. And I know he probably won't be able to be that. No, I know he won't be that guy, but I want him to be. I know he has potential to be. Or maybe just go inside and try and draw a foul, you know, like Mitchell does. I know he's not Mitchell, but I just want Royce to be more aggressive on offense because we know his potential. We've seen it. We've seen him poster people before. He postered Giannis for Christ's sake last year. We know what he's capable of. He just needs to do it. Um, Mike Conley was out, but... Mitchell fills in that, and that's another reason why I, because he's trying to take on the playmaking role, but that's not who he is. He's a scorer. He's a scoring machine. That's what he does. He's a scorer, and he tries to take on this playmaking role, and it's just not there. I think he needs to, I want to say he needs to leave that up to Ingles, but Ingles has been shooting the ball better than anyone on this team. Ingles has been one of the best shooters in the NBA this year. Ingle, he's shooting barely below 50% from downtown this year. He is on fire this year from downtown. So uh, I just hope Conley gets back soon because Donovan's not necessarily the ideal playmaker. And Ingles can be, but he's shooting the ball so well, I don't want him to be playmaking. I want him to be spot up shooting. I want him to shoot off the dribble. I want him to do step backs like he does and knock him down. I want Ingles to be that. Three guy. I want him to be head banjo. <sighs> I saw good things from Mie today. I love talking about Mie. I love seeing him be so aggressive. I saw early he... So, someone missed a three, he got a put back. Or someone missed a shot and he got a put back because he was being aggressive and I love it. I love when role players, bench warmers, especially like Mie, are so aggressive. I love it because that means that they're working hard. And if we can get one thing we're lacking is depth, which doesn't necessarily matter right now because I mean, our depth on the bench is Clarkson, Niang, Favors, and Mie, right? Yeah. And then Ingles when Conley comes back. But when Conley's hurt, our bench isn't that deep, but it doesn't matter because all of them step up. Niang has shot the ball extremely well. Extremely well. Favors. I mean, he's aging, but he's still a very solid role player for us to have. Mie becoming a lot more aggressive. Serious, serious potential I see in him. And Clarkson, I mean, he's Clark. Clarkson's the sixth man of the year. Having someone like that on your team is going to lead you to great things. Um, Yeah, but when when we can get depth along with our amazing talents we already have, three-point shooting, defense, whatever it may be. If we can add depth, that's amazing. And I know people, some people want us to sign Blake, and I, do, I couldn't understand why. He's aging, and what role would he have on our team? Would he even get minutes? I don't even think he'd get minutes. I mean, yeah, he's he's shooting the ball well. I mean, that's good, but... If I, if I want someone like Blake, I want Prime Blake. I want Clippers. I'm a poster, you Blake. I don't want three Blake. We have three-point shooters. I want someone that can go and get a bucket in the paint. And Blake just can't do that anymore. He hasn't gotten one dunk this season, if you didn't know that. He hasn't gotten one dunk this season. And it's probably because of his leg injuries. I, I understand that, but that just means he's washed. And I don't want a washed player on our team. No one on our team is washed. That's getting minutes. Ingles is not washed. I don't know why people keep saying Ingles is washed. He's not even close to washed. No one on our team is washed. Cause, and we're such a young team anyway. I think Ingles is one of our only players over 30, if I'm not mistaken. Clarkson's getting there, but he's not 30 yet. I don't want Blake. I don't know why Jazz fans want Blake. If you want Blake, please tell me why. Um, cause I don't understand why people want Blake.
he just doesn't fit our scheme at all. Uh, last thing I want to talk about is Coach Quinn. He's definitely coach of the year right now, and that's why he got head coach at the All-Star game for the West. Um, he's just, he's, he's, I don't know, he, he just, he has to give some of the best speeches in the world, because we'll be up by three at half time or at the end of a quarter, and then the next, by the end of the other quarter, we'll be up 20. I don't know how he does it. I don't know what he does. He's, well, I know what he does, but like, I don't know how he makes them execute it, you know, because he's running the same thing just with adjustments. And I mean, the minor adjustments over time could fix themselves. But Coach Q is so brilliant. Cause, so I saw him having... His, his matchups are interesting. So we were playing a zone at first, I saw, because I saw Royce was not guarding Lou Will, and I was like, why is Royce not on their best player? Well, it was because we were playing a zone. So... That couldn't work out. And we stuck to the zone in the first quarter. But then he put Royce on Lou Will. And it was like, you you guard him. Because Lou Will cooked us in the first half. So he was like, you guard him now. He guarded him. I mean, it left the role players open. But I'd, I'd rather chance with the role players than Lou Will, you know. It's all good, though. Got a win. Uh, we played the Clippers Friday. Seven mountain time. And I'm pretty sure Kawhi and PG will be playing. So it'll be tough. As long as we don't play like we did tonight with Kawhi and PG in, we'll be all right. I, as long as we play like the Jazz that have won 19 out of their last 20. So that's all. Uh, if you have any feedback on tonight's game or the season in general, let me know in the comments. Uh, thanks. See ya.